Hey guys, Brad from Road Heat back at it with another 2020 player outlook. This time we're talking about Jalen Hurd, wide receiver, San Francisco 49ers. And as always, if you're enjoying what you see here, and we hope that you do, hit the like, hit subscribe, the notification icon so you can stay up to date when we go live. Fun fact, we go live five nights a week, Monday through Friday. We talk everything from defense to Devi to DFS, all the D's in between, Dynasty, and even some redraft. Everything's on fire. Everything's on fire. Everything's on fire. And now on to Jalen Hurd. This is the dude that had Alvin Kamara ride in the pine at Tennessee. Uh, a running back that, that had a solid career at Tennessee, went to Baylor, was converted to a wide receiver, did not get the, the amount of love one would have expected to... to get drafted highly but san francisco took a chance third round pick they liked what they saw in college they bring him in um he gets a bit buried on the depth chart i mean you got to think they've got you know debo and at that point they had marquise goodwin pre-trade they had dante pettis they got kendrick Bourne. they got trent taylor i mean they got all these different receivers a lot of guys and then a couple of higher draft picks in in debo and jalen hurt uh, 2019 didn't go well for her, you know, got hurt, wound up on IR uh, to end the season. 2020 is a different beast. You know, they traded Marquise Goodwin in the offseason. The one thing they're still lacking is that is that big body, big wingspan, big play receiver. You know, a lot of folks want Dante Pettis to be that guy, but San Francisco just doesn't seem to be into him. They just don't want to keep him around, it seems like, or, or give him the love that he deserves. Uh, that being said, Jalen Hurd could be that guy. When it comes to redraft though, we're not jumping on board him, uh, at least at this point. We want to see something on the field. Now obviously, anything's possible this year because we know there's gonna be you know quarantining for guys that get COVID. So Herb is probably gonna get some playing time at some point in the season. And at that point, things could take off for him. We know in the 2019 preseason, um, he had multiple touchdowns. He had a, a fair amount of action and, and, and looked like he was developing into a receiver uh, nicely. And and think about Kyle Shanahan's offense as a whole. You know, in, in his time in Atlanta, he had big receivers. He had big guys, the Julio Jones of the world that, you know, were 6'3", 6'4", big play type guys with big wingspan that, that did a good job catching the ball. Uh, here in San Francisco, most of their receivers are, are smaller statured guys. So there is definitely a role that Hurd could carve out for himself but i think he's still got some time before he can really develop into that i think it's still going to be another year or so he may get extended playing time this year because of the COVID stuff but our team isn't super high on the fact that that we don't know what san francisco is really going to do with him right now uh because of the way they utilize this offense it's very run first very run heavy and then they kind of gadget with with debo and you know and obviously they spent a high draft pick on brandon iu you know there's there's a lot of things there that make us go you know we're just going to hold off jumping on the herd bandwagon uh, for redraft. So uh, I would let him slide. I probably wouldn't even draft him, quite honestly. You know, um, he's one of those guys that could be a priority waiver wire guy because we know obviously Debo's hurt already. If Ayuk doesn't pick up the offense quickly, you know, there's just going to be opportunities for guys. You know, they got rid of Marquise Goodwin. We got an injured guy. We got a rookie. And then we've got some other dudes. You know, maybe Dante Pettis becomes a thing, but hasn't really happened yet and, and may not happen at all. So uh, we'd let him slide, we'd let him go undrafted, we'd wait, he could be a priority waiver wire target. Uh, let us know in the comments, is he somebody you're picking up in a, in a redraft situation? Is he somebody that you have any interest in at all? Let us know. Also, right there, playlist. Hit it, watch the videos, do it. You want to, do it.